The Memento M. Cristo channel regularly shares the words of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, with the intention of bringing all the faithful closer to the Word of God. Today we are going to share the third video of the series. If you write on the channel and leave your like, also leave your opinion regarding this series should we continue? Yes or no? The Word of the Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive. To those who have offended us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Words of the Holy Father, Pope Francis. The Lord's words do not pass away. He makes a distinction between penultimate things, which pass away, and ultimate things, which remain. It is a message for us, to guide us in our important life choices, to guide us in what is worth investing our lives in. In what is transient or in the words of the Lord, which endure forever. Obviously in these. But it is not easy. Indeed, things that fall under our senses and give us immediate satisfaction attract us, while the Lord's words, though beautiful, go beyond the immediate and require patience. We are tempted to cling to what we see and touch and what seems safest to us. It's human, that's the temptation. But it is a mistake, for heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Reading of the Day Reading from the Book of the Apocalypse of St. John 20 I, John, saw an angel come down from heaven. In his hands he had the key to the abyss and a great chain. He grabbed the dragon, the ancient serpent, which is the devil, Satan. He chained him for a thousand years and cast him into the abyss. Afterwards, he locked and sealed the abyss, so that the dragon would no longer seduce the nations of the earth, until the thousand years were ended. After the thousand years, the dragon must be released, but only for a short time. Then I saw thrones, and their occupants sat down and were given power to judge. I also saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for the testimony of Jesus and the word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast or his image or received the mark of the beast in their foreheads or in their hands. They came back to life, to reign with Christ for a thousand years. I also saw a great white throne and the one who sat on it. Heaven and earth fled from his presence, and their place was no longer found. I also saw the dead, the great and the small, standing before the throne. Books were opened, and yet another book, the Book of Life. Then the dead were judged according to their conduct, as it is written in the books. The sea returned the dead that were in it. Death and the abode of the dead gave back their dead. And each was judged according to his conduct. Death and the abode of the dead were then cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. Anyone whose name was not written in the book of life was also thrown into the lake of fire. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth passed away, and the sea is no more. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, dressed like a bride adorned for her husband. Gospel of the Day Proclamation of the Gospel of Jesus Christ according to Luke 21 At that time, Jesus told them a parable, Look at the fig tree and all the trees. When you see that they are sprouting, you immediately know that summer is near. You too, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is at hand. Truly, I say to you, all this will happen before this generation passes away. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Prayer of the Day Bless our day Lord. Lord, on this day, I come to ask you for health, strength, 
peace and wisdom. I want to look at the world today with eyes full of love, to be patient, understanding, meek and prudent, to see, beyond appearances, your children as you yourself see them, and thus see only the good in each one. Close my ears to all slander. Guard my tongue from all evil. May only blessings fill my spirit. May I be so kind and cheerful that everyone who approaches me feels your presence. Lord, clothe me with your beauty, and may I reveal you to everyone during this day. Amen. Subscribe to the channel and leave your like, share this video with 7 more friends, to help the channel raise the word of God to all those in need.